welcome back to my channel. Today I have tiny hats here and um, say hi. Hello. <laughs> yes. yeah, hello. hello. We, <laughs> we are going to review Stardew Valley for the Nintendo Switch and the PC and it's also out on what is it PlayStation 4 and Xbox something. Uh, no one plays Xbox but it's out on the Switch now and the reason why I put her into this uh, video is that she has played Stardew Valley more than anyone I know. That is why I thought that mm -hmm. you can shed mm -hmm. a light on... Uh, I also introduced you to Stardew Valley. Yeah, I know. I bought it for you on Steam. I was like, play this game, it's a good game, oh my god, you're gonna love it. Yeah. Stardew Valley is created by one man, Eric Baron, Concerned Ape. And it was published by Chucklefish, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. So this one man developed this game all by himself because he is uh, a programmer, isn't he? But he did this as a uh, hobby uh, at home uh, from what I remember reading about it. And he was finished with this game and then it was on green light, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. I'm just checking all the facts with you. I think so. I, I only the only the first thing I heard about it was when it came out on the because it's an indie game and Steam has its own uh, list for indie games and it went to like Steam's best selling list like of all Steam games ever, which doesn't happen with an indie game very often. Like it went above CS:GO on Steam on the selling list, which is you know. Why did it? Do because that? I, I don't know. It just became really popular. It was just this one guy who made this game. He was like, I'm going to make this cool game just because I want to make a cool game, and then it just became really really popular. Well, uh, maybe people uh, told all their friends about this game, like you told me about mm -hmm. this game. <laughs> you forced this game onto me, anyway. Mm -hmm. So how much have you played this game? Um, I can check on Steam if you want to know exactly. Uh -huh. 173 hours. 173 hours. It is a farming simulator. I would say it's pretty much what you're used to if you are familiar with the Harvest Moon series. Uh, so, yeah, yeah. Like, Eric Baron himself, he has claimed numerous times that he is a big Harvest Moon fan. So he wanted to create something like Harvest Moon uh, by himself and correct some of the things that he meant was uh, kind of a shortcoming for uh, the Harvest Moon series. Like there are more things you can do and things are easier actually in Stardew Valley and there are more items and more things you can actually do. And he implemented this uh, that you can go into the mine and kind of fight anim animals, fight <laughs> monsters mm -hmm. with a sword and stuff. And that is actually something that is not in Harvest Moon. There's not real combat in Harvest Moon. If you want to have a farming simulator with combat, there's this uh, side series that's mm -hmm. called Rune Factory. And that is Harvest Moon with combat. So anyway. But if you start at the beginning, yeah. When you start the game, yeah. what's the story? Let's go. So uh, you can tell the story. The story of the game Stardew Valley. You start, uh, you're the person you choose, you make your character at the beginning, you boy or girl, you know, ty typical clothes, boy hair, etc. And you start out, uh, you're working, you're living in the city, you're working at the Joja company thing, mm. like you're in your cubicle and stuff and you see, you get this letter from your uh, granddad that you open, he's left his farm for you in Stardew Valley that you can like, take over? to mm. move there and become a farmer, so... His most precious gift, yeah. To his loving grandchild person. So you leave the city and you go to Stardew Valley to find the farm, and the farm is... Very run down, yes. beaten down. Uh, it hasn't been uh, taken, taken well care of for mm -hmm. many years. I don't know if the game tells you how many years it's mm -hmm. been since you lived there. But it's uh, beaten down, so what you get in the beginning of the game, you get a axe and a... Um, you get the axe, the scythe, the hoe, yeah, oh yeah. Um, and the pickaxe. Pickaxe. And yeah. the watering can. And the watering can, yeah. So uh, you are greeted with uh, villagers from the village uh, early on. And, uh, Mayor Lewis. Yeah. yeah. And they tell you that you can clear out your farm and practically do whatever you want. You can make whatever you want out of this farm. You can even enjoy the game and play the game and get married and so without even touching the farm. It's all up to you. Mm -hmm. You can go straight to the mine. No, you have to wait a few days. A few in the game get yeah, days. There's some tutorial days, yeah, but yeah. the mine opens on like day three. Yeah, before, and before. then you can just do fighting. I mean, there are choices for you as a player to do mm -hmm. wh what you want to do. But, of course, I recommend to do everything. Well, okay, the farm is overgrown by trees and rocks and bits of wood and grass and those, like, bushes that you hammer down with the scythe. Um, and you have to, you have some area that you can farm on, the brown area you can farm on. Uh, you can grow um, crops on the brown area and then the green area is just 
you know, decoration area. Like the farm that you have on the screen right now is the, the wilderness farm? This is the forest farm. The forest farm. Yeah. So you get not you don't get as much brown area the basic farm the farm that came when, when the game released was just brown area everywhere and there was a tiny lake yeah you just yeah. had like a clean slate you could do whatever you wanted with giant Th area. this this uh these features are new from what i when i played it on steam on pc i didn't play that long yeah, they released a couple of different farm layouts so that you get more you get more grassy areas you get like a river and you get like you know different depending on what farm you pick you get like a different layout of the world so that you can do more decoration for people who like you know they want to make like a pretty farm it's not just all brown you get some grassy areas you get some rivers you get some like you know decoration and you can place buildings after a little while mm -hmm. uh, wherever you want on this uh, big farm the animals that you can have they are cows chickens sheep and pig Go and goats pigs pigs yeah. and goats yeah okay you first you have to gather the materials to build a coop or a barn to keep your sheep or your or your uh, the first um, coop has space for chickens, and the first uh, barn has space for cows, and then you can expand them to, to fit goats and pigs. Mm. And Look, yeah. I got the cutscene <laughs> with Louis. He's opening the um, community, community center. center. Can you tell about the community center? The community center is the... Well, Louis is telling you about it right now. It's the community center in Stardew Valley that's been run down for... Um, a long time, nobody's been taking care of it, nobody's been, you know, whatever. Um, and they don't know what's happened to it. You go inside it, and you find all these uh, little things, these little huts, and like Lewis is like, the children must have been playing in here. But it's the, what are they called, the junipos, I think? They're like the magical creatures of the forest that have been like taking care of, or like moved in, they haven't taken care of it. But they've moved in and like taken over it and stuff to like, because they're little magical creatures. Uh, but you get the choice if you want to. You can either help the community center and help the people of Stardew Valley to restore the community center. You get bundles of stuff that you have to complete. You have to bring like so and so many crops and like wool and like everything you can gather in the game. Basically, you have to bring to complete like the bundles in the community center. Or if you join the Georgia, if you buy a membership for Georgia Mart, they knock down the community center and uh, build a Georgia warehouse. Oh, I don't want to do that. No, nobody wants to do that. Have you ever done that? No, I've never done that. <laughs> okay. I was going to because I have one save for every uh, farm layout and on one of them I was going to do the Jojo Mart but I just can't bring myself to do it because the community center is so cute. I know, it's so, so mean mm -hmm. to actually knock down this old yeah. building. I, I just want to restore it because mm -hmm. it's what feels right to do mm -hmm. because it's uh, some sort of backstory to it, isn't it? Well yeah, it's the community center, it's where the community has been <laughs> community. <laughs> yeah. uh, about the villagers, what would you say about the villagers? I would say uh, first impression, I remember when I started playing this game is that uh, there's a big variety of uh, people and personalities uh, but I also recognize that a lot of the girls have the same hair color and that made me so confused. You know, Penny and Jody and uh, mm, some other, yeah. Penny has red hair, Mario has brown hair, Jody has brown hair, Caroline has green hair, Emily has blue hair, Haley has blonde hair, Abigail has purple hair, Leah has red hair. Yeah, okay, too many. has red hair. Too many with red and brown. Uh, There's two of each. What would you say about the villagers? I think all the, vi all the villagers have like a unique story. As you like progress your friendship with each villager, you get to see more of their story and like um, the secrets about them that you don't isn't like obvious to you from the get go. Like Shane, for example, mm -hmm. uh, the guy who works at the Jojo Mart, he's really like when you meet him, he's like, "Who are you? I don't know you. No one talk to you." And if you keep giving him gifts and become his friend and stuff, you get to hear like his story about what he wants to do. I'm not gonna spoil anything, but like his hopes and dreams in life and whatever and like they all have something special about them they're all like unique and you know have different stories okay so the collectibles in this uh, game uh, let's talk about the museum oh god there's not really that much to say about the museum you collect artifacts around the world that you where find. do you find the artifacts yeah you find them in the mine or you can dig up the squiggly worms yeah the squiggly worms that is uh, something you told me mm -hmm. I remember when I got this for a PC mm -hmm. uh, I didn't know about what they were and fishing mm -hmm. uh, I actually like this fishing uh, thingy uh, it is kind of hard in the beginning that is what you said earlier today you said yeah. oh it's so hard in the beginning and then it gets easier yeah, it gets easier the more skill you get and you feel like it should have been the other yeah, way it around it should have been the other way around so that you get more challenged the more you do it it should be more and more challenging instead of easier and easier because what's the point in doing it if it doesn't get more difficult <laughs> I, I like that it gets more easier because um, hashtag I don't even like challenges in video games. It just becomes grindy when it's too easy though. You just fish and it's so boring. You just like. Okay, so the bachelors and the bachelorettes. Which are your favorites? Which one do you marry the most? Well, I've married different people in all my saves, but I think the first one I married was Sam. I think yeah. Yeah, I tried to marry Sam because Sam he's a uh, pretty boy. Uh, I've married Sam, Sebastian, Haley. 
Harvey and Abigail, I think. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Harvey, actually. Yeah, he was new. He wasn't always a dateable character. He, when the game came out, you couldn't date Harvey, but uh, Emily and Harvey were added as uh, dateable characters. Nice. Okay. Which is totally sad, because if you marry Emily, Clint will be super sad, because Clint is in love with Emily. And he's always trying to get her attention, but he's too shy and it's so sad. I'm gonna try and marry Elliot this time around, I think. Yeah. The villagers, they have uh, plenty of good backstories, and you increase their, your friendship level with them in order to get these cutscenes, just like you would in any Harvest Moon game, actually. So, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of similarities are drawn with this game to Harvest Moon, but a lot of people in the community, not in the community center, but in the community, uh, Harvest Moon ish, they say that this is uh, everything Harvest Moon. It's Harvest Moon, but improved. Yeah. Yeah, people say that. It's like an improved uh, version of Harvest Moon and what they already like and know with Harvest Moon. But uh, a lot of things are improved, like this thing with the mine. And uh, So are there any main objectives in this game, would you say? Well, well the there is this three-year rule thingy. Mm -hmm. there's, there's a main story, but you can't, I can't really talk about it without spoiling it. Yeah, no spoilers. You get quests. You yeah. get like actual a list of quests. Do this and do this and do this. And you mm -hmm. can pick up quests uh, on the, the board in town. Mm -hmm. uh, you will see it. So that way, if you like to have some sort of mission and objective, there are a lot mm -hmm. of them. You can collect hats in this game and furniture in your house. Mm -hmm. You can customize like everything. Uh, have we missed out on something now? Seasons. Well, mm -hmm. there's seasons and don't grow uh, spring crops in summer and they will wither and die when mm -hmm. there's a new season. Uh, there are birthdays and you can see the birthdays on the calendar. And if you give uh, the birthday man or girl a good gift, the affection value of that gift will triple if you give it on their birthday. Mm -hmm. That is also something from Harris Noon. Um, yeah. I like uh, the Switch version a lot more than the PC version because I am more of a console gamer than a PC gamer. But that is because I have a laptop and I sit awkwardly with my uh, laptop. And I also feel like my laptop is my workstation. That is where I edit the videos for so many hours every single week. So when I want to play games, I don't know if this is... Uh, if this is something even to mention, but I don't know. I <laughs> I just like to play consoles a lot more. And um, I can play this in bed. I always say that. Mm -hmm. But I like to play in bed. Lol. Okay, so the final verdict with this game. What would you say? Would give it? Would you rate it? No. How's the music? Suata. Music is Suata. So I like the music. We were in town today and I was humming this music like loudly. Mm -hmm. She was at the dentist office and uh, the music is very um, memorable, isn't mm -hmm. that? Mm, yeah, it, it gets stuck, get into, stuck in your yeah. head. Yeah. So uh, it's good. Mm -hmm. Very good. I think it's good. The graphics are really nice for pixel um, for a pixel game. This is a pixel game and one man has created every single pixel in the entire game that is so cool and I think he he uh, spent five years of his life creating this game isn't that correct pass pass yeah okay. <laughs> I don't know I think so uh, I would think so because there's a lot of work that has to be put down in this game I recommend everyone to download this game because uh, it's fairly very cheap yeah it's fairly very cheap uh, the Hyundai from there. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Ooh, we have forgotten something. Yeah. Multiplayer comes out yeah. next year. They're releasing multiplayer for Stardew Valley. Um, Will that be on console and PC? I assume so. Yeah, I, I assume, I so, assume too. so. So yeah. you can get. Because um, I remember I read the article about it. They've made it so that you can make hire a farm helper to come to your farm. They get their own little hut and stuff, and you can play the game together. You can both go play it separately obviously networked and then not split screen so you go separately and do whatever you want talk to the other person like decide what to do so you can like build a farm together there's something about marrying your so you can play like with your boyfriend or your girlfriend or whatever but can you play together yeah in the game yes like i can see you and say and, and go around i think you said you have to know where the other person is like if you leave you can see each other when you're both there if you're both on the farm and you're both right next to each other you see each mm -hmm. other but then you can wander off to the town and i can go to the beach okay do you, do you think i can see you on the mini map no i mean probably. on the map probably we will see your, yeah. the other person on the map 
okay. then you can chat with them obviously and be like, but there's I'm going no, to the beach uh, to collect seashells. See you later. There's no split screen, same room. I don't think so. I think it's just network. Well, it wouldn't make sense on PC. There's never split screen no. games on you PC. That is more like a TV mm -hmm. thing with consoles. Uh, so, <laughs> so will it be cross platform? Probably oh. not. Uh. Like I can see you on your PC master racing. Probably not. No. I will give this game a how much? Ten, ten wood bang. Wood bang. <laughs> wood bang. Yes. <laughs> wood bang. With wood bang. On the beat them ups. <laughs> Yeah, I shouldn't. Okay, what? I'm not rating this game. <laughs> okay, okay, we give it 10 out of 10. Would bang something like that. <laughs> uh, anyways, guys, that was a rather long video, but thank you so much for watching, and we will see you later. We will. We'll, uh, mm -hmm. I'm about to totally open it. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you later. So yeah, like this video and share it with your friends. Anyway, bye. bye. Okay. Okay. Oh.